Hello there. Today, let's look in the grammar grab bag. Onomatopoeia. I better look that one up in my dictionary. Starts with the letter O. Here it is. Onomatopoeia means a word that describes or mimics the sound of an object or action. An example would be clip clop as a sound of horse hooves walking. Well, today's story is packed with those kinds of words. See how many you recognize in Owen's Occupation, Story and Pictures by Kathy Ann, Video and Special Effects by Roger. <clears throat> when Owen was little and someone asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up, he would answer, I want to be a superhero. He did not want to be just any superhero. He wanted to have a special superpower. He tied an old blanket around his neck, stood on the couch, held his arms out straight, and hurled himself into the air. Thud. Uh, Owen could not fly. He built a tower with his blocks, took a running start, and jumped as high as he could. Crash. Owen could not leap over tall buildings, or short ones. He placed a bandana around his eyes so he couldn't see. Bonk! Whew, walked into a wall. Owen did not have x-ray vision. He took a piece of wood, raised his arm, and chopped it as hard as he could. Whack! Whew, his hand hurt. Owen could not break wood into pieces with his bare hands. He tried the same thing, only with his foot and a brick. Kablam! Then his foot hurt. Owen could not break the brick with his foot. He piled up ten pillows and jumped on top of them. Splat! The pillows sprang out from under him, <laughs> scattering everywhere. Owen could not bounce high into the atmosphere. He held a spoon in his hand, concentrating. He let go, trying to keep it in midair. Kerplunk! How the spoon fell to the floor. Owen could not levitate objects. Young Owen was starting to get discouraged. It was beginning to look like he didn't have any superpowers. He went into his room and took out his favorite comic book, Superheroes at Work. Every page had words to describe their superpowers in great big print, like Pow! Bam! Zap! Boom! Crack! Whoosh! When he read the words out loud, the words sounded like the action. Click. A light went on in Owen's head. Aha. Uh -huh. I can do that, he said. He looked up at the clock on the wall and mimicked. Tick tock. He heard a car horn outside and imitated the sound. Honk. In the bathroom, he noticed water slowly coming out of the faucet one drop at a time and repeated. Drip. Drip, drip. As a motorcycle drove by his house, he shouted, Vroom! His cat crawled up in his lap, but before the cat had a chance, Owen said, Meow! In the kitchen, his mother was frying hamburgers. Owen hissed, Sizzle, sizzle. Out in the garage, his father was pounding nails into a shelf. Owen hollered, Bang, bang! Everywhere he went, Owen made the sounds of things around him. Zip! Yow! Woof! Boo-hoo! Snore! Kerplooey! Shh! Pop! Sniff! Clank! boy At school, all the strange sounds coming out of Owen's mouth could be annoying at times, like when he called out, Ding dong. For the school bell, or splish splash. Waiting for his turn at the drinking fountain. One day, after hearing Owen say, Creak! His teacher, when his teacher opened the classroom door, she said, Owen, you are a living onomatopoeia. Owen looked up at her and said, Onomato what? His teacher explained. Onomatopoeia means a word that imitates the sound it describes, like Buzz. for a bee or Achoo. for a sneeze. Owen oh, yelled, Snap! That can be my superpower! Shazam! 
When Owen grew up, he used his superpower to make all those great sound effects in the cartoons of his favorite superheroes. Ta-da! The end. Until next time.